How is it going, everyone? The Trout91 here. Welcome to something that I want to start doing quite regularly. Um, so I'm starting to get into the groove of this game a lot more now, and I've I've started the because I've changed my playstyle and I've thought about the game a little bit more and how I'm approaching each game and how I am um, making overall decisions that I used to make when. It came to playing this game that I didn't used to always make and now that I know the game a lot better I feel like I'm in a much better position to give away advice and on my last chem video a lot of you guys said that you enjoy the fact that I talked through what I was doing so I thought I'd do it again so I'm using the AK-12 with the science it's actually a monstrous gun it's got a really good amount of damage at range especially the iron sights are beautiful and uh, with espresso it's just an absolute godsend so what I'm going to be doing is talking to you through in this series about what I'm doing to basically increase my KD because doing, making these decisions since I've started playing in a much smarter fashion, I've actually managed to increase my KD above a 2. Before I was just rushing around playing Domination, not really caring, and uh, it's skyrocketed since I've started playing a lot better. But to start with, I get on the pawn building because the pawn building is probably one of the most powerful positions to be on the map. You've got so much space that you can look at, but you also have to be careful because there's also a lot of space that you can be taken down from. So I'm just looking over this side of the gas station. I know they're going to be spawning there. I see lots of skulls going down, so that's a good indication of exactly where the enemy are. There is a perk for the first time in Call of Duty that actually removes that. But not a lot of people seem to use it because they prefer having other perks. And it's not the most vital perk, especially if you get a team that communicates well, because you can usually predict where they are. And it only works particularly well with the silencer. So I'm just picking people off at range, because I know this AK is very good at range. I'm using the SATCOM, the Helo Pilot, and the Battle Hind. Helo Pilot, not particularly amazing on a lot of the maps that in this game, but on a map like Octane, it can have its good use, but there are a few buildings. If they get in the buildings, it's very difficult to get them back out, but uh, it's very good on maps like Whiteout. So I'm just picking people off one by one at this point, and I'm staying on this building for quite a while because I'm waiting for a good opportunity to actually get down from there, because people are going to know by now that I am, in fact, up here. I've probably killed, well... A minimum of at least two different people at this point probably three uh, so they're definitely gonna be looking for vengeance on me and since some of my team are starting to spawn on this area and with me I know that they're gonna be looking over here eventually enough so I decided to move on to a different building see if I can blow up this hole because I f have a prediction that based on the spawns they're gonna be moving around that side of the map and it just as I see that there is in fact a fifth my fifth kill of the game there so I'm looking around, I'm not too sure where they're going to be spawning, I don't think they're going to immediately spawn where I am, so I'm going to try and make a move as quickly as possible, pick up a secondary weapon because the pistols are terrible in this game, and I make a move. So I'm being careful at this point, I want to make a good maneuver around based on the spawns, I know they're going to be spawning at a strip club, uh, as I said in the previous video that based on Call of Duty spawns, especially in TDM, the enemy team will spawn to the opposite side of the map of your team. So I basically use that as an indication as to where they're going to be. And I'm trying to lose my teammates, but they seem to be following me at this point. Um, so I'm trying to get away from them as quickly as possible, but also be cautious about what I'm doing. So I'm checking my corners just in case they are in here. Don't think anything's going to be in there. And I notice that we are clustered in this strip club, so they're going to be spawning over the other side. And instead of moving up the left-hand side, it seems like that's where a lot of the traffic's most likely going to filter around because teams tend to move in a kind of like a clockwise or an anti-clockwise depending on which way it's going kind of movement instead of cutting in the opposite direction so I'm just gonna slowly move in the opposite direction where I can they would expect it to keep going in the opposite direction which is why I'm moving up this side unfortunately one of my teammates is there he's gonna get taken down which is actually playing in my favor because they're thinking oh we've taken one down it's probably clear to move up but I spot a couple of them in the top shot. They've actually noticed that it was a very good place for me to sit in. And I pick up the battle hind with two easy headshots. And unfortunately I'm out of AK ammo. But I do have this SA assault rifle. I always forget the last two. SA805 assault rifle in my arsenal. So I managed to call it the battle hind. Very good stuff. I'm going to go pick up the field orders. Kill one person by jumping in because we're playing on Xbox One. I don't actually have a scuff controller, so jumping while shooting someone is probably not going to be the most likely thing to happen. Uh, 
So I'm just biding my time. The, the spawns are a little bit spread out for my teammates, so I'm not too sure exactly where they're going to be moving from. And I predict that t enemies are going to be moving up this side and actually catch OVOXO out by that prediction. So I'm just biding my time, sitting in this building, thinking what should I do next. And I spot that my teammates are, are covering this right-hand side, so I can move out and feel a little bit safe about it. And I see one of my teammates has actually picked up a kill there. So I imagine the traffic's going to be filtering around here because he's probably seen that a teammate has gone down. My helo pilot is ready because of my battleheim picks up a double kill. And at this point, it's pretty straightforward what exactly happens. We go into a nice safe area of the map, call in the helo pilot. And just to save time, I'm going to fast forward this super fast mode. Ah, and in the words, <laughs> only use my blades because, well... Not a lot happened. I got I got a few kills that, but for a 12 kill streak, I didn't really get much out of it in the end, I suppose. But there you go. Pick up a good. I think that was possible. I can't even remember how many. Trying to pick this guy off for a distance. He's staying out in a hospital position. I'm not a big fan of that window because you can't see a lot. There's no real way or advantage to get a good angle outside. Especially if you're hanging around there for too long, it's very easy to get picked off. And considering how quickly you die in this game, it's not a good idea to be standing, playing in the center of that window. You should be at least trying to make some sort of angle for yourself. So I climb up on Pawn because I'm not too sure exactly where I'm going to be spawning. I could move through the gas station, but I imagine that's where a lot of them are going to be filtering. And I don't have a science weapon, so I'm not fancying my chances. Pick up that guy on the tank. Nice little kill there. Still predicting they're going to be spawning on the strip club. I think I noticed someone in that window but just about here that guy pick him up and I'm a little bit weary of jumping down because I've heard a lot of movement and gunfire going down and I imagine they're probably making their way in here and I predict that Buzz goes in he actually got I think a sound horde him as well so I'm assuming they're all coming around this backhand side now and I don't actually see someone so I'm being a little bit cautious you don't want to sprint sprinting will get you killed more times than it will help you in this game I can guarantee you that so be careful about how much you sprint, and if you're sprinting, sprint towards cover so you can at least give yourself a fighting chance if you are caught out. So, I move up into this top building, managed to pick up that dude, I pick up the second just lying on that lorry, not sure exactly what he's doing, I'm going to reload. Always creating angles when I'm in buildings and windows like this, because you just can't see the entire map, although it gives you good advantage over them, it's also one of the worst things to create yourself uh, too much open space for them to pop an easy kill at you. And I noticed an X behind me. I'm going to go on the back balcony because I assume he's going to come through the back, as most people would likely do. Pick up Mark Profius or whatever the hell his name is. And that is going to be all 28 kills from myself with that one assist. Team player bringing in the one assist. And that is pretty much going to be the gameplay. So if you enjoyed this kind of game and this video where I kind of like give you more of a tactical approach as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing things. I do enjoy doing them. It's a little bit of a change of pace. I don't think too many people do that kind of proper in-depth stuff. I might even do some live comms at some point. Let me know what you think. I've got other gameplays to put up. I will see you soon. Peace.